Show is that time, and that time is the halftime show on Pulse 95 Radio with your boy Omar Al Duri. Shout out to everyone who's tuned in, whether it's Pulse 95, 95.com, Sharjah Broadcasting Authority, or if you're tuning live on YouTube, shout out to everyone who is locked in for the hour. And guess what? Who's coming up on the show today? The man, the myth, the legend himself, Jordan the Wonder Reynolds, is going to be here live on the show in the heart of Sharjah on the studio vibe with the cameras on and the sound on and me here on Pulse 95 Radio. Does it get better than that? It sure does because there's plenty to talk about covering so many things since the last time we brought him on. And he was so good the last time, we had to bring him on again. So make sure you tune in and stay locked in on the hour with your boy Omar Duri on Pulse 95. It's time. The show is that time. It's the halftime show on Pulse 95 Radio. When you hear the fight music, you know there's one heck of a fighter on the show. Uh, shout out to Jordan Reynolds. Jordan, welcome to the show, man. Omar, thanks for having me, brother. It's Hope great all is well. It's great to have you back on the show. You were so good the first time, man. We had to kind of bring you back and do the remix, man. I appreciate it, mate. Listen, uh, it's been a been a journey since then, mate. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, a lot, lot's happened. There's there's a lot that has happened, and actually, what I want to say since the last time we spoke, um, a lot's happened in your life, in your career, and also you're here to spread knowledge and experience in the UAE. What have you been up to? Well, uh, my biggest thing I've done this year, set up for this year, is mm-hmm. bringing my academy to the UAE. Okay. okay. For the kids, for the parents as well. We let the uh, parents join in with the kids. Is bringing my boxing academy, mm. such a success mm. in the UK, where we work with three, four hundred kids a week now. Wow. Um, discipline, mindset, fitness. I think it's very well needed. Mm. Have these kids have a bit of structure. Um, yeah, we started in the UK giving out free boot camps. Mm. And now, like I said, now, yeah, three, four, five hundred kids a week. I thought, let me uh, come to the UAE. It's like my second home. Yeah. Good people. Done a few taste sessions in the, the schools, and um, the kids love it. Mm. The kids love it. Um, it's a bit of bringing the competitive, you know, side. In, yeah, you, you need that in life. Yeah. You know, um, and I, I do believe sometimes going back to basics and running things back. Uh, will put you in good stead in the future. Yeah. Instead of like, you know, being third or fourth best. I want these kids, if, you, if you're if you not, you know, have a come first or second place mm. in our sessions, we want you coming back to the next session yeah. thinking, I want to win, I want to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, it's giving these kids a bit of hunger, a bit of uh, motivation mm. to be a bit better each, each week. And yeah. it's, it's great. And we do a lot of teamwork and stuff as well. So the kids are mixing. I, I think it's great. Yeah. And like I said, uh, fitness mindset discipline you learn self-respect boxing is very spiritual as well you yeah. know you find inner, inner love and inner peace yeah. so boxing has done wonders for my life business wise as well and it's really structured my life so i just want to give that back to the you know people for where i'm from and the, pe- the people in uae yeah you, you mentioned that uae is like a second second home to you what is it about the uae that's kind of brought you back to the point where you brought your academy here <sighs> do, do you know what i just i feel like the, the balls were good, good stead here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, like I said before, good people, got a great network out here. It's not one of these places where you go out there and everyone's trying to pull you down. Everyone wants to see you win mm. and you build together, which I think is great. I'm having the right conversation with the right people and it's just like everything, everything that's needed, you know, for say my boxing, my boxing camps, for the kids in the UAE or whatever it is. It's, it's here. Mm. It's here. If if uh, if I can't find it, someone someone will find it. Yeah. So um, there's always something to do here. There's always something to keep pushing. There's always some. What I like about here, there's always someone better than you. Mm. So I never I never looked at it as competition. I think that's that's raised my level. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, which is great in in business and in boxing. Yeah. There's you know? there's a lot of self work you've you've done on yourself and anyone that follows you on your content as well knows that. You know, you continually speak about accountability. You continually speak about hard work and, and principles. How, you know, how do you practice that? Daily discipline. Yeah. You know, like, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I think discipline is equals freedom, mm. right? I don't want to run in five o'clock in the morning. Some days I don't want to train. I'm walking to my fights on fight night. I'm walking to the ring thinking to myself, what am I doing? Mm. I'm, I'm about to have a fight, you know? Mm. So... 
but it's that discipline that gets me up in the morning that, that pushes me forward like I come from hard upbringing mm-hmm. you know um, especially where I come from the council estates we all come from broken homes and, and whatnot. so I just wanted to instill this early to me mm. for my next generation when I have kids and my family and make my my family more family orientated and uh and, and instill that. And I know, like I said, boxing's done wonders for me. But yeah, I just try and... I try and do things every day that I don't want to do. Mm. Whether that's early hours in the morning running, to ice baths, anything anything I, I believe, anything you do where you have to suffer, you will improve 1%. Mm. I, I really do believe whether that's business or... Just going that, going that extra mile. Mm. It's, it's key, it's key. From, from your upbringing and, and the things you've said, has that been like the best form of education for you? 100% I've learned how to be streetwise I've learned from where I'm from different learned about different cultures mm. I was raised by all different cultures uh, mixing with all, all, all the all the kids from different areas and where I come from humble beginnings when I got fostered with a family they they were maybe middle or upper class so I was there and I was looking around thinking to myself whoa like there's more to life like, yeah. it's not just my neighbourhood is mm. just stuck here. These these people come from run from. They've got big houses, nice cars, going on holidays three, four times a day, uh, a, a year. And like us, it was like maybe one holiday a year. That, mm. That'd be great, you know. Mm. So it just opened up my eyes. And now, like, I've learned so much life experiences. I can just imply. I can imply that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I, I would never ever change anything. How old were you when you got fostered? I was about 15. 15, and, and what was that like for you? Yeah, it was hard because that obviously was very very close to my mother um, and, I was, and I was seeing a lot of abuse and, and stuff at home. Yeah. And I thought boxing was a way out for me. And I thought, and I was, and I was seeing a lot of, um, where I'm from, there's a lot of knife crime and mm. a lot of people, you, you get easily distracted, right? Yeah. So I thought, I don't want to be a product in my environment. So I just took the step. A family said, look, you're 15 years old, 16 years old. You're getting a train to West Ham. West Ham is like one of the roughest places in, you know, yeah. in, in the country, right? So I'm here. I'm getting a train down there. I'm all, you know, dressed in hardly not decent clothes. Mm. They, they took a little shine to me, you know, and, mm. they, and they offered. They said, look, you know, you can see you're a little bit of trouble, kid. And I was always shy. I was quiet. I had yeah. a lot of anger in me. And they asked me to come in. And I was like, at first I thought... Bit strange, but when I viewed it, I thought to myself, Do you know what? Like, every time I was going back to my hometown, there was always, there was always drama. So I thought, Let's just take a risk, let's just take a risk. And um, I never looked back since. Wow, okay, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back after the break. I told you it was going to be good. And now, is that time and if you're tuned in and kicking yourself for missing the show you can catch all of our episodes on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud or head over to our YouTube channel Pulse95 Radio and we are there the man himself Jordan Wondra Reynolds is in the building Jordan just before the break we were talking we have a teaser actually <laughs> forever we were talking about the stage in your life when um, you got fostered which was about 15 yep. um, what goes through a 15 year old's mind at that stage, after the humble beginnings that you had and the rough upbringing that you had, for me it was um, I was looking for freedom. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I got showed a little bit of love. Like boxing was my my go-to. It was like where I, you know, I felt the love I mm-hmm. was wanted. I was, I was I was I belonged there. You mm-hmm. know, um, so yeah, it, it was hard. Don't worry, it, it was hard. But all, in my head, I always just thought to myself, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for like. Well, when I'm older, when I have kids and whatnot, they're never ever going to see what I've seen. Mm. They're never going to be manipulated mm. or the the mental torture I went through. You, you understand? So that just pushed me, man. And like, I love my mum dearly, I love my my dad dearly, and I still like I just want to give them experiences. Even though like mm. I was kind of brought in to the, their marriage, their their circumstances at a young age, and kind of used as a tool. I shouldn't have. So mm. that could have that could have really played a big part in my mental health. I could have I could have I could be easily be a victim. Mm. You know, and, and, never, and I've never ever pointed a blame and said, Oh, this is your fault, I'm not where I am because of your fault. I just thought, do you know what? I'll just do the work. 
I do the work. I'm not the most talented. I've never had anything go my way in my life. Anything. Mm. Even my career. I've had mad, mad setbacks, mad injuries. But one thing with me, right? I will always get there. No matter, no matter what. Just by turning up every day, taking no for an answer. And just, yeah, just pure determination, man. Like, mm. oh, I've got, I've got no, I've got no no in me. Mm. I have to, I have to get where I want to get to. I've got, I've got such a vision, such a goal in my head. I know it's possible. Mm. So I just speak it daily. I, I see it. I manifest it. Like, my life could be so different right now, man. And like, I'm here. Mm. I'm in the UAE. Like, like, that's like, like, I never, like, I, I envisioned this a couple of years ago. Mm. All this, man. You understand? So mm. like, it's, um, like little things like even as a young kid alright like I never thought I'd be able to drive like I had a car like my first car I thought, how, how have I got this I'm from the manor mm. like like it's, 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 it's crazy so yeah it's, it's been it's been a journey it's been a story mm. and it's, it's still writing you mm. know like it's, but it's all uh, like I said before I would never change anything because it's made me who I am today it's character building man mm. pure character building wow I've got goosebumps this in 10 man um the Asa Prayer is coming up, but again, <laughs> I might skip one or two tracks just to hear more from you, man, because it's uh, it's refreshing, especially for the modern generation to kind of hear your story and, and not fall in victim after what you've been exposed to is is a credit to you, man, and and, and the person you are today. Um, let's let the Asa Prayer go and we'll be right back after this. And now... <laughs> Pulse 95 Radio, Omar Duri here live in the heart of Sharjah. The reason why I'm smiling if you're watching on YouTube is <laughs> Jordan just told me a story about never littering. <laughs> and we'll Car- keep- Karma will bite you in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> in your backside. <laughs> the, the thing about that is why, why I'm laughing is because, um, God, Jordan, you, <laughs> why shouldn't you litter? So basically, oh, oh, before I've done my, my run, yeah. I took my wedding ring off. Because you're married. Car. Yeah. Because obviously I'm sweating. Yeah. I was losing weight. Yeah. So it slips off. So I wanted it to be safe. Right. So I'm a run. I forgot about it. Come back in the car. I had a shower. Come back in the car. I went to drive to my nan. Stopped, stopped off. Got a coffee <laughs> and some, you know, snacks. Yeah. Drinking, drinking, whatever. So I'm quite like a clean freak. So yeah. I was just there. So I grabbed it. I was just going, oh, just chucked it out the window. And that was myself. You chucked the coffee cup out the window. And the sweets. But and the sweets. Whatever it was. That was in the yeah. holder. And, and so I went like that. And oh, I went, no. Thinking, is that my wedding <laughs> ring? Oh, surely not. What? Surely not. <laughs> and it was, uh, I had to think about for an hour what I'm going to say yeah. to my wife. And, and how'd she take it? She just said, I'm surprised. So we've got too much going on. <laughs> you, need to, you need to slow down. What's her name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Shout out to Jennifer. Yeah, big up, man. He's Thanks. saying sorry yeah. live on air. Thanks for putting up for me. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's talk about your boxing career. Um, you got big plans for 2024, yeah. and, and we believe here in manifestation. You were talking about that earlier. What's your plans for 2024? Take over. I believe I will get two titles this year, if mm. a minimum one. I'm, I'm going for the English title. I just boxed about a month ago. Mm-hmm. Very good win. A weight above, like heavyweight. I'm now. Only seven fights, mm-hmm. already in the top 13 in the UK. Yep. So and I just won the Eliminator, which is which the fixtures come out of the British Border Control. They run the boxing. Yep. So now I'll be fighting the winner, I believe, will be Brad Pauls versus John Harden. They fight March the 9th. Big. And I'll be fighting the winner, I reckon, June time. So I'm gunning for them. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to. So, yeah, this is a pre-camp over here. Mm-hmm. Fight in April, a little active one, and then and then take this title, and then hopefully maybe a British title at the end of the year. But yeah, each each, each fight at a time. Amazing. Yeah, it's very. Uh, it's been a journey with the boxing, mate. Yeah. Honestly, over 112 amateur fights. Started boxing late, mm-hmm. but we've done well. We've top done 30 right now, time. right? Pardon. Top 13 in the UK. I'm top 13 in the 13 in the UK yeah. as a professional. I was number one for a few years as yeah. an amateur yeah. on the Olympic team as a, as an amateur. Yeah. That's big. That's that big. Right? And and what was that transition like from amateur to pro? I've always had a pro style. I've always liked to be <clears> stuck <throat> in. <laughs> but yeah, like being with the Olympic team GB. Yeah. You know, having over 100 fights with them, you start learning more like in and out and you're boxing like the Russians, the Cubans. Mm. That's for Kazakhstan. Yeah. So you've got to adapt. Yeah. But it puts you in good stead for the pro ranks. Mm. So when you get these styles, 
when you fight as a pro, you're kind of used to it, you know, yeah. after that, but 10 rounds, 12 rounds, you could be the most, and you know yourself, mm -hmm. conditioning, background, all right? Mm -hmm. You could be the most talented fighter out there. If you ain't done your conditioning, you can win the first four or five rounds, mm -hmm. and you've got the later rounds. Yeah. And that's when you can, uh, you'll go into a deep, deep place if you haven't yeah. done ground. And that's what happened to my, my, not my last fight, but like before, I was in the UAE, part eliminator, you know, come along. Yeah. 10 rounder, five weeks, wasn't enough, but sometimes I said, yeah, Sometimes you've got to roll the dice and yeah. do you know what, like, I had to go to a dark place, I had yeah. to bite down like gum shield and push forward. And that's the way I believe my hard upbringing mm -hmm. and the stuff I've got, you know, gone through as a kid has pushed me to get that win. I yeah. do believe that, like that resilience. Yeah. So. And so so you'll be back and forth between the UAE and the UK. Always. And um, and you're doing, you're obviously managing a lot of things. I've seen your social media. By the way, what's your social media handle just for anyone who's listening? It's J Reynolds Boxing on Instagram. That's the main, the mm -hmm. main. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So make sure you, you, you follow him. And um, when you're doing all that, because your content's quite good as well, man. I've got to give you credit for that. Like you, That's another thing that it's hard to do while you're managing. It's another job. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, How do you manage that? Just, just try and make it to a habit, man. Yeah. Try and make it to a habit. I've got sponsors. I try, try and keep sponsors happy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you got to think, of, you know, about it. Like, for years, mm. boxers, boxers don't get paid like footballers do. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? So it's on your own self. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. You've got to hustle. You've got to work. You've got to try and box. So, yeah. So I just try and do loads of content. I try to be, you know, um, a bit authentic. Mm. Be a bit myself. Yeah. I think people take to it. The people who want to sponsor me, I represent them, and I just want to. If I'm, if I'm winning, yeah, my team's winning, yeah. You understand? We're, we're yeah, all on the journey that. together, yeah. And that's what it's about. Not just like, oh yeah, thanks for that, and then, yeah. I want, I want everyone to grow. I want everyone to because life's hard, right? Life yeah. can be hard. So I just want everyone to win in life. Yeah. And as simple as that. Yeah, so, love that. I, I I have to say earlier this morning, um, we were training in the same place, and I was watching you train. And you just head down, work hard, and you just go out as soon as you're done. Um, is that something you've practiced, or is that something that you you develop over time? Yeah, I just believe. I'm a big <clears throat> believer just being in your own head, mm. being being comfortable in your own head and your own mindset. So that's where the real work's done, you know. Mm. Is that's, and that's the real battleground is is in your mind. So just being alone in my own thoughts, getting getting the job done, getting the work in. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I practice that in obviously the gym to business to, to normal day to day life I, and I believe if you're, if you're away like if you need to go away be away from everyone mm -hmm. and sit there by yourself no music no distractions no phone mm -hmm. and just listen to the voices in your head and control it for those that struggle with stillness or just being alone what advice would you give them to get better if people, I I, I believe mm. the gym is the best is the best cure for that, mm. and, and and being busy, mm. I, I I believe going back to basics. Yeah. I think people are too they have too much time on their hands. Mm. You understand? Like back in the day, right? We was too busy mm. to think of that we've got something wrong with us mentally. Mm. You know, if you understand, like, like we was out there, we was hunting. Yeah. If we weren't hunting, we was making a a fire, making mm. a house, cooking. Now you work. F Four, five, six, seven, eight hours, mm -hmm. and you're sitting down on your phone, comparing your fake, these fake lives to your life. Yeah, and it's not real. We live in such a artificial world now. It's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. So, go back to basics. Get real and raw, and just get rid of the noise, man. Yeah, yeah. Understand? Disconnect and do, and do the work. Yeah, love that. Don't be soft. <laughs> love that. Don't be soft. Love that. Well, I'll wait to end the segment. We're gonna play you some Mr. Easy, Miss You Bad, and you won't miss us too much because we'll be right back soon. And now. The biggest compliment I can get as a host is when someone calls you a therapist. That is top, man. And this guy here at Jordan, the Wonder Reynolds, uh, is giving me the compliments today. But you know what? I have to give him a compliment because it's been a brilliant show. I thought the first one was good. This one's, as we say, is a banger. <laughs> this one's a wicked show. Um, Something I want to ask you about, actually, uh, which we wanted to kick off in this one. Real conversations. Is that something that you have regularly? Is that rare? What's your take on that? Yeah, I try to, you know, mm. especially when I come back to the house. Like, I like to, my life, and I think any man's life, mm. right, is pure chaos. Mm. As soon as they step out of the house, yeah, <laughs> it's like, 
it's chaos. We're suffering. We're working hard. We want to provide. Yeah. That's what we do, right? So when I go home, it's like switched off the noise. Yeah. Back to basics, like I said, mm -hmm. and have a deep conversation and just mm -hmm. be real. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We are, we are losing that, man, as humanity. Like that that connection mm -hmm. of, of, of life, you know? Rather like, you know, I see it now, like I go to a coffee shop. I'm looking around, I think there's a mum, a dad, the kids are there, they're just giving them a phone mm. just, to, just to keep them quiet. And so, they're, so they're just busy on their phone. I think to myself, where's, where's the engagement? Mm. Where's your conversation? Yeah. But how, like, that's, I, I just don't, I think that's so bizarre and I feel that's getting, it's increasing more and more and more. And like, we're just losing, I think we're losing a little bit in touch mm. with, with humanity, you know? Mm. I, I really do. So I think stripping back to basics is key. And, and just enjoying people's company, man. Mm. Having a proper conversation. Like you know me 10 times more than you knew me just by looking on social media. Correct. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Because like, I, I put stuff on social media like, oh, he must feel really good. But I'm not. I'm knackered and I'm, there's all this other Tired. story. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So like, yeah, I think, I think stripping things back. Yeah. 100%. I've got to give a shout out to Matty as well and Rochelle who, who connected us in the first place. Yeah, good people. You know, good really people, good people. Really, really good people. And, and the more I um, meet people, the more I realise how hard it is to, to meet good people like those two as well, yeah, man, which yeah. is amazing. Um, you also talked about, it's, a lot of the stuff we spoke about off air was really good. as well. <laughs> That's a bad one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you talked about um, managing stress and, and, uh, and sometimes just things not, not being worth it. Can you tell me how, again, I'm intrigued by your mental fitness, the way that you process things. Can you tell me how you, you manage good stress and bad stress even, like how you, how you deal with them? I think I just get through it. Mm. You have to get through it. You know, like I, I always look at the, I, I just know from now, from just my experiences that mm. if I get through this, this, this stage, mm. it's, it's going to be better. Yeah. Otherwise, just stay, stay in your comfort zone. You're always dangerous. going to be there. Mm. You're always going to be there. And like anything worthwhile, well, you have to stress for. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So, uh, yeah, like a lot of people say you should be balanced and whatnot, but I feel, I'm a bit an extremist. And if I want something, mm. I want to go out there and get it. So, yeah, managing wise, I have no map or plan. Mm. I just, when it comes, I just, I just go through it. Mm. Go through it. You said that um, that gym is like your therapy. But if I remove the gym from your daily routine, how do you get fit mentally? Be busy. Yeah. Like I said, strip it back hundred years ago. We didn't have the phones. We, all we all we knew was our thoughts. Yeah. I understand? Yeah. So yeah, talk to people, go for long walks, do 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 nature stuff. What we've been doing for years. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're getting so lost into this, like I said, this, this fake world. Mm. And what's going on? We're losing in touch with ourselves. Yeah. So thinking and being present. Being present. Like mm. when when's the last time we get so caught up in should we say the rat race in mm. the system, right? When is the last time we've actually thought to ourselves how I feel today? Like mm. I'm actually taking it now. We're not. We're always chasing, 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 chasing. Mm. You understand? So sometimes you've got to take a little step back, man. See how far you've come, be present, suck it up and go again. Mm. But you've got to develop real grip, man. Mm. If you want something gonna get hard mm. it's gonna get real hard but you gotta push forward and, and this them times then will dictate if you're made for it or not because mm. nine times out of ten people say they want it and when it gets a little bit tough they go the victim mentality comes with the excuses come out there's no excuses mm. there is no excuses if you want something that bad mate you'll get it as simple as that just just work hard mm. work harder and, and you can moan and whatnot no one at the end of the day no one cares mm. be better be better no one cares. Be better or work hard. That's my mentality. Yeah. Oh, Jordan, you can't do this. Sound. I'll be better. Mm. I'll go back and I'll be better. And I'll work harder. Mm. And, and that's how I, I was out, man. Um, you said something as well in the break. You said, like, coming into the studios. How, how do you feel after a show like this? Yeah, I feel great. It's like, like I said to you earlier, mm -hmm. it's like me going back to the kids, mm -hmm. to the academy. Mm -hmm. We were so much on. But I promised the kids to go there, right? Yeah. Feel a bit down, or something's happened to me, or whatever. You know, not got the best news. Mm. I'll go there, leaving unbelievable, thinking I'm so grateful I've come. Mm. You know what I'm doing for these kids with a smile on their face. Mm. It's like you know, I've talked to you like, oh, there's so much in on me. Mm. But then 
I'm releasing it on you. Yeah, yeah. So you're either gonna like, as long as you're not walking back, yes, thinking, oh, I feel zapped. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing all this. Neg- I'm, I'm putting all my negative energy on you. Do you know what I mean? You could be walking back, thinking, oh, I'm wiped out here. Right. I'll try and keep it light. Move, yeah, light and, and yeah. positive, uplifting. So yes. I want you. I want you walking back, thinking, this yeah. Is it. Do you know what I mean? Because there's nothing worse when you're surrounded by negative people. Yes. Things go wrong in your life. Mm. They, they really do. It's like a magnet that mm. just, just attracts, man. Mm. I really do. That, that's why now I've learned whatever I've got going on in my life. I, I had the UAE, the academy, set up for months and months. I'm not mm-hmm. told no one. No one. Because I, I just believe it. All the, and I've got some mad ventures coming out, right? But I believe not to tell no close ones, no, just no one. Mm. And not because necessarily they want what's bad for you. Mm. It's because people's reactions nowadays, nine times out of ten, is... Just to think neg- negative. Correct, correct. Just to think, just just automatically. Yeah. Think the most about, oh, you can't do that because it's, why, why think that? Why not think, well, if you do do that, then mm. you've got this. Mm. The first thing is the negative, especially the old, especially the old schools. The old, <laughs> the old, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Though? It's, um, yeah, that's, that's my, that's my yeah, opinion. Yeah. So I'll just keep things close. And, uh, Brilliant. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I agree with that 100%. Your vibe attracts your tribe, right? That's, mm. that's one of those things. And, um, and I'm grateful that you came down because we, we've been talking on and off since the last show and uh, and I've been uh, really happy to see not just your journey yeah. but you know the direction it's going at more than anything because you know you've lifted off a while ago it's not now you've been putting in yeah, the, foundations, you, man. the foundation for yeah. a while so the fact that now people are starting to recognize that where you know everyone that knows you knows you seeing how far you've come and how far you're gonna go yeah. and that hunger by the way that, that's dangerous for your opponents as well because oh man listen I'm uh, I feel it now yeah I feel it now I feel this energy yeah it's, it's crazy bro yeah so uh, I just want, like I said I want everyone to win yeah push forward and it's exciting yeah like, the best is the best is yet to come and like we've started like I said a few months ago you know, people on the show who watch this will know me you said know me yeah or you will see the real journey now Mm. You'll see the process and the progress mm. over the next six, six to eight months. It's mm. going to be crazy, man. And I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. I wish you all the best. Everyone here at Pulse95 Radio, everyone behind the scenes, everyone that's watched this episode today, will wish you the best because you're a good guy and, uh, and you're a hard worker, man, and you've been through a lot and, and you deserve it. And we look forward to seeing your success here on the show, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, i got to give a shout out, by the way, to someone who uh, I bumped into the other day, actually. Uh, he was making me a coffee and he said that he recognised me and I said to him I was going to give him a shout out and his name is Tony. And he couldn't believe I was going to give him a shout out and I waited till the end of the episode to say it, just see if he's checking, uh, if he's watching the episode because I told him that it was on YouTube and I told him we were going to be live and so shout out to Tony for myself and uh, and the champion himself. Big up Reynolds. Tony. Yeah, Tony. Up, Tony. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. That is full time. On the halftime show. Remember, if you miss our show, you can catch it every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 3 to 4 UAE time. And if you do miss the show, don't worry. You catch all of our podcasts on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud. Or if you prefer a visual, head over to our YouTube channel, Pulse95 Radio. And this legend right here, Jordan Reynolds, is going to be on the show. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thanks for having me, mate. Thank you. Take care, guys. Stay blessed. And we will see you soon.